Hey guys, so we are currently having dinner at a Japanese and it's so great. I'll go through this. Yes, this is amazing. We're in an exclusive booth right now. It's just us. It's just us too. Alright guys, so we just got it. Alright guys, babe got his food. What you got in there, babe? Some squid, some oysters, snapper. Uh, got everything in there pretty much. Shrimp. All the seafood you can think of. All the seafood. Yours will be, be fire. Yeah, I think. Spicy as a motherfucker. I've got a guy that stayed there last Easter. Now, complete. I love that shrimp. Mm, the sauce is fire, baby. Mm. Oh, you like to see Look at that sauce. It's spicy. It's I love it. Oh, it'll be two houses. There's two houses on it right now. Right next to the point. Right next to the point. Right next to the point. Oh my god, babe is okay, drunk right now. I'm not drunk. I'm just. Baby is drunk. He's like been. He was going off. Oh. I don't know how we get back. Want to club, babe? Oh hell yeah, that's what that's what the white people. <laughs> Let me stop. I'm not going there with you. Get something to eat and then let's figure out what we're gonna do later. Um, but check out this view. I just want to point out this. Let me see if I can zoom in. Is that that's it? No. But I wish you could see what I'm seeing, but this right here, this view right here, right above, is freaking gorgeous. You can literally see the other side of the island. Yeah. Yeah, we're going in the elevator. I'm zooming out right now, so. Bro, with us. Babe, I'm super hungry right now. They had chicken. So I'm left over chicken for two days ago. It was ago. amazing. Amazing. It wasn't too bad, but. Um, Tastes okay. like the fridge, but. E oh, yeah. We'll get back to you in a few. I don't know who you think he is, but you're nobody. Goodbye. I'm myself. Thank Okay guys, so we just got to the cave, the cave tour. Let me show you a bit of it. Oh, this, it hasn't even started, honey. 
But we haven't started the tour yet. This is just the beginning. And we're waiting to get on the trolley. Oh yeah, it's a trolley. It's a trolley. Oh, a, tram, trolley. a trolley. Tram. I didn't know what, what it was before today. But, yeah. And, big. But we're somewhere elevated. So. Yeah. My ears were popping. Yeah, I was chewing gum the whole time. So, so you didn't feel that at all? Oh. Um, yeah, they're ready for you inside the theater room. So now we will just let y'all take this time. For anyone who needs to use the bathroom to please do so. Inside the cave, there's lots of running water. There's water running from the ceiling. So please, now is the time to use the bathroom. My phones are outside the theater, right? So now is that time. Can you use it? Can you use it? I don't know. Can't this tour we have. Okay. 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 The sword like stalactites below and the rock red stalactites below are growing due to the constant dripping of water. Are you not feeling drops of water right now? Our common cake showers, showers of blessings. These droplets, they are important, especially to the door of all the functions that you will see on tour this afternoon. Now there are two streams that filters water daily through the cave. They both come from two gullies that are very close to the cave. The Rochman Hall and the Harris Gully, one kilometer away from the cave. Now ladies and gentlemen, they want going to look very closely here at this open window to your right. Especially if it's a food, our drivers want to stop more than once so everyone will see our pots of interest. It's crystal clear and the water comes solely from the ceiling above. As you travel through and you see areas like these, we use them for educational purposes. University students that are studying geology, this is one of many areas that they get to crawl through. A few months ago, we had the University of Columbia, and you can only imagine how they felt when the students saw this window and found out that they had to crawl through there. The shock on their faces when they saw that window. So two ways the water gets in here, the dripping and the other way is through the underground streams. This is the way that our guys crawl through. Our tears of joy of crying eyes, sad eyes, love eyes. They continue to explore all of where we are traveling, all of this more solid rock. Hence, that's why they had to crawl along this area. We're about to enter the very same room where they emerged in the 1970s. From where you're sitting, look at it. It opens up, and at this point, where we are, we are 80 feet or 26 meters below the surface. Before they put in the wall, and this is concrete, all of the rushing water that came through was from the floor to the same height as the ceiling above. So yes, water helped create what have entered and play an important role to what happens in here on a daily basis. When the tram comes to a complete stop, use the back rock over there. That's the photo back rock and you may get off one more and enjoy. The floor is wet, not slippery. Please be careful while you get off.
what's going on guys bay and i we ventured off to some city i don't know where we're at but we ventured off to get some food some some local food you know see yeah babe yeah so i'm gonna walk around get you guys some footage some views of the ocean yeah i don't even know where we're at but it's pretty nice it smells nice you want umbrellas, the normal one? Feels good to be getting some local food. We've been stuck in the village the whole time. Things are up here out here. A lot of fishermen. How are you? Got an abandoned boat. But check this view out. things before I start this whatever I have to say right mm -hmm. I know my face is extremely oily very number two I only got one eyelash on one eyelash. this one is missing that's facts I need to wash my face my hair looks horrible hair definitely dirty um but what I wanted to talk about is um our trip all in all and us not having sex on our trip most people would think oh my god you guys are going on vacation you guys are sleeping in the same bed he's seeing you in your bikini you guys are having sex oh that kind of rhymed right sort of yeah but no guys we haven't had sex and it's not we're not i, I don't ever i'm gonna take that back i right, let me let me let me let me backtrack we're not having sex until there's a ring on my finger and we're walking down the aisle and i say i do that's just what it is like he knows you know what it is right yes i know what it is man. he knows what it is i know what it is so it's like i don't he's not pressured into anything i don't feel like i'm pressuring him into anything we're both adults we both know what we want and so like i understand that people think it's stupid or like it's fake or impossible it's to actually fake do. impossible yeah that's right definitely fake or impossible but it's definitely possible i think a lot of people allow sex to control their mental and i see something on facebook and i told many people are more concerned about the physicality when the mentality is the bond for the longevity there in the go, relationship yeah. all right That's what it was. all right so again i know i look crazy yeah oh my god um but i just wanted to you know share with you guys that our journey um it's been successful so far you never know what's gonna happen, but I, I don't plan on doing it. If it happens, God will, whatever. That's I'm not, let's not even throw God into. It. I don't know why I did that. Um, but whatever happens, happens. But for me, I have a plan. We let me not even say I. We have a plan, and yeah, like no pressure. Yeah, we're building a um, a friendship. We're best friends. That's what we are. We are good friends. The idea of boyfriend and girlfriend puts a certain that label. Just you know. Um, we don't like that label. We just want to be best friends. We want to be good friends. Right. We definitely want to get to each other. We both share the same goals, mm -hmm. similar mentality. So mm -hmm. we're going to keep that going until we walk down the aisle. Yeah, definitely want to get to know each other. The mentality. Yo, my hair look like a bird's nest. Don't even rank me. I know <laughs> I look bad. I know I look bad, all right? Don't rank me when you see this video. No, but she really is my best friend, guys. Um... This vacation has definitely been a uh, This has been a both. great vacation. We definitely... Yeah, Barbados owes us nothing. I don't no. think... I, I don't, I'm not even saying it tested our relationship. It didn't. It was like... We're just growing stronger. We're growing stronger mentally. True. I, I think when we do make that... When we do make that decision to walk down the aisle and have sex and everything, like, I think we're going to have the greatest... I think we're going to make it like 80 plus years. Like We're going to be one of those Hopefully. couples. Hopefully. Like, 
a hundred years giving all young people advice and mm -hmm. stuff like that. And I could definitely yeah. say um, going on vacation together definitely gave us a taste of what it would be like if we did live together. Right. And let me tell you, okay, I want you to um, share one thing you learned about me and I'm going to share what I learned about him. But let me say first. Okay. Jeff pees on the toilet and it makes me <laughs> mad. What do you have to say? That's not even true. Um, and he leaves the toilet seat up. Like, he's so rude. I said it multiple times to him and he still does it. Go ahead. What did uh, you One thing I've learned about my best friend is that uh, uh, I have to watch my back. She's uh, She likes to have fun. So I oh, you guys need to see the video. We should we post it? Can we post a clip or what? We can throw it in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She mm. likes to have fun. She's a very optimistic, happy going person. So, yeah, the clip is going to be right here. <laughs> you can see I pranked him. That's what I've learned about her. She's uh, she's just always don't to sleep have fun. around me, cause I'm gonna get ya. And she's always ready to have fun, so I need to be ready to just ex you know just expect anything. Yeah, for so sure. All, all in the name of fun, so it's all good. Yeah, um, but we have to start packing, guys. Our room looks like a hot mess. There's a lot of pizza, money, whatever that's right here, clothes, whatever stuff on the floor stuff everywhere but we leave in the morning and so we don't leave in the morning i'll fly at two but we have to check out by like 11 or whatever all right check out head to the airport it's about like it's only like 20 minutes down the street yeah just about but mm -hmm. i definitely enjoyed my birthday babe i thank you i appreciate you i love you love you too and i can't wait to do this again can't wait all right, guys. So it's just a little quick update on us. This is not part of the vlog at all. It's not a part of the vlog. And again, I know I look like shit. Mom look big, baby. No, nope, nobody cares. Look at swole. But I'm gonna go ahead and end this right here. So if you haven't already, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Get us to 5K. Subscribe to K Sorority, which is my other channel with my sister for more pranks. And yeah, guys, it's been a pleasure talking with you guys. I love when you leave us comments. Continue doing that. And okay. Let us know what you want to see, guys. Oh, yeah. Definitely let us know what you want to see so we can go ahead and record that for you. And do this. Deuces. I don't like deuces. Let's not say deuces again. Peace? No. I don't um, like peace. We'll just say bye. No, well, actually, see you in the next guys. video. See you in the next video. See you in the next video, guys. Bye, guys. Instagram followers. That's sad. You think I'm ashamed? I'm not.